Hello everybody. Welcome to Facebook Live. This is Grant Russell with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Hope everybody's doing well out there. Um, I'm usually doing uh, some larger vehicles, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take a challenge on one of the smaller Winnebago Solaces that we've got in stock. In fact, uh, come around this way, Cherish. We just got this in. We're limited supply with the um, with the Solus 59PX, which has the air conditioner on it, as you can see in the back. So this coat, this it's got the same wheelbase, plus it's got the nice aluminum rims, and uh, it has a generator underneath, so you can actually run your air conditioner when you're dry camping. So uh, it's it, it's the only one we have in stock right now, but we've got some on order as well. So for those of you that might be interested in, in, in contacting us on the Solus that we have available with the AC, uh, please give us a call. So the Solus is built on the ProMaster chassis. It's the um, 3.6 liter, 280 horsepower V6 engine. It's front wheel drive. It drives like a minivan. I mean, this thing drives with ease. It's, there's, there's no issues. Everything is uh, very solid. I've driven these several times myself and um, they handle with ease. As you can see, this has the pop top up on the rooftop. So for families, you know, mom and dad's got their bed down below kids upstairs or if you've got friends maybe you guys want to go you know a couple of buddies going hunting or something like that so you got two separate beds there um, speaking of the beds, so the bed sizes the one on the base here is uh, 76 inches long 56 inches wide for those of you wanting to know how big the bed is that's the downstairs bed the one up top is 78 inches long and 52 inches wide <clears throat> um, you've got like the uh, the Winnebago Rebel, they're using the roll of screens here. So they've got the little, when this is shut, you've got the magnet release so you keep the bugs out. Makes it easy to get in and out. Um, right here we've got a, we come around this side, a little mini refrigerator. It does have an ice box up top. And uh, right here at your entrance is uh, the, their on-off switch to turn your coach batteries on and off. You have a 12-volt outlet here, USB ports there. These are some toggle switches for the lights inside. It's all LED lighting inside. <clears throat> uh, go around the outside first, and we'll come back around to the inside. Uh, down below here is where your fill tank is for the propane tank. And uh, the propane tank is, it's just under 25 gallons of propane. The fuel tank is 24 gallons. So we'll come around back here. You've got a 3,500 pound tow hitch with a 350 pound tongue weight. And then over here, the kind of the water workstation here. Um, this, this gives you a nice little display. It depends on how you're, how you're operating it, whether you're dry camping or you're filling your water tank. Very simple instructions to, to go by there. Uh, it does have an outside sprayer, hot and cold running water. And this is your, they, they come with the little extension hose there. Um, if you want to add additional solar, it's got the ZAMP plug here. So if you got your portable solar, you can add it to it. This does come with solar on the rooftop and uh, it does have a, if you look up here, you've got the backup camera. And I, I put these little magnets up here. I was gonna show you guys what these are for. So these little magnets here come with them. There's five of them. They just magnetize right to the side of the, the metal, the van material there. But it does come with, it does come with a, uh, a uh, shower curtain that can be installed here. So it goes across here and drapes down. So if you're if you're using the outside shower, it gives you a little privacy. Or you can reverse it, take it up top here, and it just gives you a little shade coverage on the outside here. The privacy shades. So in, you know, if you want some privacy there, you just zip that up. Very simple, easy to operate. And with that extra foot back here, foot and a half, you've got Extra storage for bicycles, all your gear, paddle boards. Um, if you've got, you've got the L tracks on the side over here. The carabiners, you can hang them up top there. All your gear, you can hang it out of the way. You've got one, two, 
three, four L tracks on each side. A little cubby hole storage here. Church, I'm gonna go around that side and I'll show you how this bed works. Okay. So it's real simple to operate. It's, you just fold this here, fold this this direction, pick up, do it with one hand, it's pretty simple. Pop that in place, now you've got all your room for your gear. Uh, it does have a couple of storage bins down below here. And you've got some more storage off to the side here. And a little pull-out drawer. Uh, some more storage with some netting here to keep everything inside here. I'm going to come back down with this real quick. I'm going to show you the additional storage up top. So this, this cabinet here, when you go all the way up with it, it, it's magnetized. Very simple. It just sticks to the wall there. And if you come around this way, here, I'll grab it from you real fast. So right up here, you've got some charge stations, some USB ports, 12-volt outlets, electrical outlets. So if you wanted to charge some of your devices there. Put this back up. Oh, move that backwards. Move it down with this. It's like a puzzle. <laughs> okay, and then this one, you same deal. It's got the magnet that holds it up. Some good storage up top. All of your cabinets simply magnetize to the ceiling. So when you're loading and unloading these, it just makes it pretty simple. Um, move back down. So the hot water heater system, this has a Truma Combi hot water heater system. Uh, this this Eco Hot system here, um, when you have this on, it, it, it recirculates the hot water system. So if you're dry camping and you're um, you're not wanting to waste your hot water waiting for it to get warm, warm. It does recycle it, so you're not wasting any of your fresh water. You also have a little, this lights up here. This just shows you, that's gonna give you your tank levels on your fresh water system. And the fresh water is 21 gallons. You're, uh, you've got a five gallon cassette toilet. I'll show you that on the exterior when we get back to the other side. And then, um, your gray water is uh, is 20 gallons. <clears throat> uh, come around on this side. So here's the the bathroom is here. I'm gonna latch this here. Just pull on it, pull this out. So you've got plenty of room. I'm a bigger guy, but I could I could certainly manage and take a take a shower in here. I'm I'm six foot two and uh, I've got pretty good elbow room. There is a shower curtain that comes in here, so if you wanna leave, leave the door open for more elbow room when you're using this as a shower, it drapes the water inside the, the tub here. This toilet does swivel, so if you wanted to get your legs out of the aisle here or just put it where you want it, it does, does swivel there for you. Got the place for some storage. Uh, hanging rod if you wanna use this as a closet for hanging clothes. And then if you look right here, it's got a little place for some of your toiletry items. Okay. Uh, coming along the side here for the kitchen area. You got some electrical. You got some 12 volt and USB ports. Storage. Pull out drawers here for storage. Good storage under the sink area. And then this pulls out here. This gives you a little extra counter space. So if I'm cooking in here, and I need extra counter space to put things, I've got this ledge here, and then I also have this little table here. Pull this out. Oops. Pull 
So I'll drop this down and then it, it slides. I can put it further this direction. You just have to take it off of this little ledge here. You can move it where you want it, but that just gives you some extra countertop space. And that air conditioner works great. It's not too, it's actually a nice day, but that AC does blow nice and cool. Two burner cooktop stove. Over here is some of your controls. So the Truma system is located here. You can check on your holding tanks. Um, it, it, if you hold this down, this lights it up, showing you how much propane you have, your battery conditions, your grade tank, your water pump on off switches here. Uh, generator switches there. And you can turn the propane valve on and off from inside here, or you can turn it off from the outside. Um, tank heater, so uh, your gray water and your fresh water have heat strips on it. <clears throat> so if you do some winter camping, uh, you, you know, you could, you could still have, you don't want to be too cold in these because, I mean, it's a canvas style unit, but, um, but that'll provide you some heat on your holding tanks. And you got the ladder to get up to the, to the top there. If you want to kind of shoot up top there, you can get a shot of the bed upstairs. Like I said, that's 78 inches long and 52 inches wide. And if you pan actually right here, there's a little switch here, some USB outlets and more 12 volt outlets. So everybody that's staying in here has got a place to charge your phones, charge your computers. And uh, that's a little light switch to turn your LED lights on and off. As you can see, I've got the seat swiveled. So this one here, these little corners here, which allow it to swivel. And then this one here is gonna, this one on the corner here is what tilts and tips the back, the back there. And then the middle one will slide it back and forth. The driver's seat does the same thing. You can swivel that around. I'll get rid of my ladder. I'm just gonna move it out of the way right now. And this ladder does come apart. You can store it up top here. Got a little swivel table here. So if you wanna play a board game or have dinner together, this makes for a nice, nice little dinette. And then you do have the shoulder harness, um, seat belts on this one. So if you have child seats, um, I'll get, I get a lot of requests for that. And the, uh, I know the new Rebel has that on, the, on one of the seats. this back around and then oops wrong one here you go Cherish so again we're in a 3.6 liter ProMaster chassis front wheel drive um, Drives like a normal van, easy to operate. It's all automatic, transmission. Uh, it does have your GPS, Bluetooth capability. So if you wanna program your phone, you can do that. Um, navigation and uh, AM, FM, XM uh, satellite. Let's see, I think it's got AM, FM. And I don't believe it has XM radio, but if you are interested to know if it does, I will look into it. Just give me a call and let me know. Again, it's uh, pretty simple, easy to operate, just like your normal everyday vehicles. And I'll meet you on the side over there. Oh, one thing I forgot. Let's go around the other side. I just uh, was gonna show that, that five gallon cassette toilet how that operates as we're going this way we're at stock number five in two zero zero nine one four so your five gallon cassette toilet is located here very simple to operate pull that out five gallon tank easy to dump so with this here push the button there that that helps blow all the waste out very simple to operate. Once you get it all filled, just put it back in, shut the door, ready for use. 
And then your gray water dump tank is down below here. And on the end down here, we've got an exhaust here for the generator. The generator is going to be located underneath there. But no, I think Winnebago's done a great job with the new Solus. Um, if you guys are interested in a smaller motorhome, the capability of sleeping at definitely two, up to four people, give us a call. Um, I'm, Hope you've uh, got something out of this video today. Again, it's Grant Russell with TransWest. You can reach me um, at 720-539-4711, or you can call me uh, uh, direct at 303-684-3457, or shoot me a text, or shoot me an email at grussell at transwest.com. Hope, hope everybody's being safe out there, and uh, we'll see you next time. Have a good day.